what's up guys this is the row from it and i am back to bring you to the next episode of my empire total war let's play as venice and in this episode we are slowly but surely expanding our empire we have defeated numerous um forces around warsaw both against poland and against uh, well, both polish forces and russian forces we are slowly expanding our foothold um in moldavia the moldavia romania area but importantly, we have broken through into Russia's rear areas and we're going to start rapidly expanding and capturing lots of these territories while also probably looking to put Moscow at risk. I mean, I was going to move them back, but I think I'm, I might do that. Cool. Um, but apart from that, it's definitely time to end turn. I don't think there's anything else to do. Uh, I mean, we've got Spain over here causing troubles. Let's make sure that we're bringing up our reinforcing howitzers up to boost Orlando Sabatini. Then we've got this force near Jerusalem that will probably... Once this force has been dealt with, this force will probably stay around Cairo and act as a defender. While this force moves to attack Tunis to see if we can extract a peace with Spain um, for this territory. Tripoli is already was owned by Savoy, who we have good relations with. Actually, I wonder if it's worth... We're friendly with Savoy. Let's... Excellent. Not only, not only are they happy, it's a glorious day. But what about Genoa? Probably worth securing. Yep, yeah, securing Genoa's. Ah, oh, they're an ally of our enemies. No, oh, they're an ally of Spain. Hmm. Must be always concerned. But allying with Savoy certainly helps. Um, anyway, though, I think let's hit N10. Let's see what happens. Our agents are continuing to move around. It looks like we've got Sweden to the north that have taken... St. Petersburg and Petrovskaya, so I suppose there's a risk if we move towards uh, Moscow that we end up at war with Sweden, so we've got to be a bit ready for that. S Spain is moving up. Prussia is scampering around. There's still a concern. Um, we have a fight. This is the garrison... Um, of Warsaw selling out and Ru these limited Russian forces are going to help them. Let's fight it. Let's form a defensive line. Just because we've got um, two armies in the area, I don't want to attrit them both. Auto-resolving. But then this will be the end of Warsaw, which will be really useful for us. Uh, we can use that to... I think the best move is to use it as a bargaining chip towards peace with Poland because right now we are our territory is growing a lot and we need to make sure that we consolidate our hold in these territories as we can as we go um, and that does mean making peace with our enemies so that we don't end up at war with the entire world all at once um, so let's just sit right at the back Almost right at the back. We're going to be at a bit, a bit of an angle because this is quite a good position, especially for my bugged artillery. Form our line. Mm -hmm. That's tempting, but we have to be careful because they might be a bit isolated just group some guys around there for protection we'll, we'll more accurately lay them out once we know what the enemy position is going to look like let's deploy our howitzers excellent quick eh, round shot for them both for now okay so the Russians are coming in on the far left I 
Okay, actually, let's... shift my main line to the left we can kind of ignore Poland for now Let's move our entire line across my artillery let's probably try bring them along to here oh, yeah, I can see the Russian forces moving we've got no okay it's just being stupid let's loan 12 pounder unit Let's try to get them. If these guys are loaded, there you go. Blasted the horse guards with canister shot. Very fortunately, happened to be loaded. Okay, actually, I might quickly check my PC in my next. This is a bit juddery for me. One second, everyone. Let's pause. Hmm. Remains to be seen. It might just be me being stupid. Our infantry's getting into position, so they're going to blow those cuirassier to pieces. Too bad that we didn't get to hear any of it. More cavalry is on the move. Something like that. Let's make sure the 12 pounder is moving behind the enemy line. Let's keep the enemy, keep my howitzers engaging the enemy cavalry formations rather than their infantry block. Taking a bit of a hammering. And they're actually falling back. When we sp they may be pulling back towards the Russian positions back here. Maybe. Oh, you're trying to quick climb somebody that's not even on the map anymore. Go on, horse guard artillery, run! The Tatar skirmish cavalry. They're getting hit quite nicely. If I get my artillery up here on the bluff, they'll have a fantastic view of effectively all of the Russian reinforcements as they come in. Marines are getting picked out by the enemy artillery. So it's to round shot, engage the light hussars that are coming in. Switch to quick climb. Yeah, once my heavy horse guard gets in, all this enemy artillery is going to be destroyed pretty rapidly. Howitzers are missing against the Tata. Okay, these two units advance up, push up our conscripts just to hit them in the flank. Heavy horse artillery is in position. Get unlimbered. Open fire. So my round shot can keep my my uh, howitzers can keep firing round shots because they're not actually 
critical yet. So let's move Carabiner over here. Sars opening fire. Okay, there we go. Heavy horse artillery is going to engage the enemy artillery, which is perfect. Okay, let's actually swing this line back away from the enemy heavy cavalry. Polish contingent we're not concerned about. There's some light horse that are charging in. A bit of a suicidal charge. Forming in square, but they do not care. Pretty sure they are they're interested in the artillery behind it. Carabiner on fire at will. Form square, push them forward. At speed. Yeah, they've got through the square. Go get them heavy cavalry. Enemy artillery is being obliterated. Let's keep engaging that unit of dragoons. They got through my cavalry, my um, infantry line to go for my artillery. Not a huge problem, we can ignore it. We've got light cavalry that can push in and help. We've got plenty of that's not light cavalry. That's my general. That's my light cavalry. You'll get him. Artillery switched to square. Enemy hussars on the left have been defeated. Everybody except that curacy a carabiner unit form up into a new line. There we go. Enemy heavy cavalry shattered. Howitzers are still being manned. Let's run my light cavalry around. Get another charge against my artillery. But unlucky for them. That's a bugged artillery crew. <laughs> and we were able to do a crazy amount of damage. Heavy horse artillery. Get ready to engage this unit of demi cannons as they advance. bit of an infantry block forming but they're just going to get obliterated tried to form up to engage us how cute but they're getting obliterated okay let's push up our cavalry let's start to try and knock out some of these troops that are fleeing Lots of small units here it would be very advantageous if we could take some of them out. So let's get my general around in position as well. Let's get my carabiner involved. Okay, let's push out my line.
And you men swing in and go after the engineers. Yeah, the objective is to keep the infantry line pushing forward. Okay, chase down the, the 8th Regiment. Don't worry about the Grenadiers. Heavy Horse Guard, you can cease fire. Because these guys are limbering up, they're going to be very easy kills. Two units of guerrilla mercenaries coming in. They might they're gonna try and engage us actually in melee combat. So the Grenadier Regiment's the only unit standing. Push up. Where's my general? There he is. Get ready, he can engage the general, the um grenadiers. Kill that last engineer. Kill those grenadiers. Okay, chase down the guerrilla mercenaries here before they form a defensive position. Before they deform um play stakes, that is. Artillery cease fire. Keep my general close. No. Come on. Grenadiers break. Soon. We're not worried about chasing down the Polish troops. There we go. We're not worried about chasing down the Polish troops because they are going to be destroyed regardless. Chase down the line infantry, why not? You keep chasing them down. Go after the expat infantry, because those unit those shotgunners, we're not as interested in those. Come on, kill them. Okay, kill the seventh. All the last of these guerrilla mercenaries, then go after those guys. Or just annihilating the grenadiers. Okay, let's start ganging up on these guerrilla mercenaries. The carabino have finished killing their guys as well. There's everybody, plus the general, finish off the last of these grenadiers. Close victory, I don't think so, Buster. Nice. Okay, so that's Warsaw captured. The Russian forces around it defeated very cheaply as well. Only 400 men. Hussars have gained a lot of experience, but they're down. They're reduced in number, so they may lose some of that experience when I replenish them. Excellent. Mm, still stealing our technologies. I think it's very much in, it is in our interest to try and seek peace with Poland. <laughs> You've wanted it to just a little bit too close to the Crimea garrison. Ooh, my map's gone all funny. And I was looking at the map because it looks like Sweden might have Moscow. Yes, they have. It looks like they've taken Moscow. So we need to be extra careful that this does not... Well, at the moment, it won't spill out into a another war with us. And it may mean my force diverts west towards Kiev. This could be very beneficial. We could use it as an opportunity to consolidate our territory on in the Russian wilderness. Yes, they raided Dana. Sweden has Moscow. 
So you could... I mean, I think I want to take that city. Okay, first things first. Yeah, my map's gone all weird. Um, first things first. Poland. We're going to request peace and trade. Excellent. Don't worry about any of this stuff. We need to secure our hold on Warsaw. It's a very good defensive area. Get the garrison recruiting. Nereo Balbus. Russia could go for it, so I'm going to keep them nearby. Luca can fall back to here. You can hold this bridge in the south. Let's get rid of the University of Krakow. Let's, let's rebuild the Weaver's Cottage. Let's upgrade a port to maintain that tempo. To the south, we have a... So this guy's in the way. He was blocking my howitzers from getting into position. Let's allow them to form up. 13,000. Ludovico. Into Egypt. Okay, construction. Crimea's got fortifications. Actually, I need to replenish the garrison. Rumelia. It's got an Iron Master's works. Let's invest in Chakask. Can Astrakhan be left alone? Minus one and zero. They can be left alone. Especially if I recruit a Dragoon. You men, push up to Ufa. Maintain the aggression. Sweden may fail to hold Moscow, but it's in my it's in our interest to kind of let them fight over it. No, not my agent. Advance onto Russia's last or one of their last cities. You men advance into Moldavia to hold it. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, Luca, your force was obliterated in that last in the action near Warsaw. I mean, I'm perpetually concerned about Prussia. So if they come after us, that's going to be a real difficult defensive problem. Man, Syria, excellent. You men push up to Cairo. Orlando's ready to respond as... Celino de Balboa advances with their... Yeah, that's a colonial army, all right. But once we kill them, yeah, we'll sail on to Tunis. In terms of research, we have, things are progressing. Nothing on the horizon yet. We have to worry about our ministers. Plus one treasury. Plus one treasury. Okay, so you're kind of the... Not so terrible. You're just bad. Plus two treasury that becomes minus one treasury. No, it becomes plus one treasury. It's terrible for the justice and the army and the morally impaired cancel out. Let's just try and get rid of him. Otto Cassini. Not terrible. But not great. Okay. 36,000. Again, we're growing our um, army a lot. So we need to keep keep investing in our economy. Um, so yeah, Sweden may or may not hold on to Moscow. We're not going to worry about what they... We're not going to worry about what they're doing yet. Um, do I want to intercept them? Absolutely. Come at us, Sweden. Spain, rather. Um, we'll probably end up fighting Sweden in future. 
but for now, let's just keep upgrading our baseline economy and keep making those gains against Russia. If I can take Kiev and their border, Russia's territories in the east, declare, try and get a peace treaty with them to get them to push as many of their troops westward as I possibly can, and we'll be on to a winner. This is a lovely hill position. Okay, let's put our put my native African infantry on the flank. Because they can't form square formation, so we need to keep some cavalry nearby. Let's follow the let's keep going straight. Something like this. We have another artillery unit that can be sighted on the very high ground. My howitzers unlimber and open fire as you see fit. General on the high ground. Okay, lots of big enemy cavalry presence on the right. So let's bring our right wing back a little bit. Let's get a howitzer to start work on these cavalry units. Foot artillery is engaging their sakers, but they're not really firing. Yeah, get my yeah, get my cavalry to get my howitzers to start working on their cavalry. So you might be able to quick climb this regiment of horse. Oh, might not have been fast enough. No, I wasn't fast enough. They'd already fired at this unit. I, I'm happy to let my foot artillery keep engaging. It's not the best position for my infantry. But I'll take it. I have the artillery advantage, so they will start to suffer. The mounted Spanish bandits, plus light cavalry, Swiss pikes. I mean, if the cow if they're waiting to get into position, I'm going to try and get my howitzers to give them a couple of quick climb hits. What we're talking about. Miss. A couple more shells inbound. Misses again. Our artillery has been decrewed down by a third. They are going to keep reshuffling their units around. You're just giving me a little bit... Oh, there we go. Now they're committing their cavalry to a charge. Probably the howitzers I've used to engage them. But they're going to get engaged by infantry to their left. These men have engaged in a bit of a fruitless manner because the the the, um, the hill gives them cover. Retard, oh, yeah, that's what I thought. Retard, <laughs> the angle is just right. That not to kill all my own men. Okay. 
Okay, let's retarget my howitzers against the some of the other more vulnerable units. Colonial Light Cavalry. They'll go down hard. Yeah, they're coming out coming at us at speed. Get you men up on the hill, ready to engage the Swiss pikes, push the cavalry up. Engage the mounted Spanish bandits. Good hits. Get my artillery to keep engaging them with round shots. Get my cavalry in, because they'll they can't really defend themselves against the colonial lights. Okay, let's start to engage some more conventional targets with my howitzers. Let's take you guys. Get them up on the hill. Oh, that's a good quick climb target. Popped a couple of shots off at my light cavalry. There you go. We've defeated their their light cavalry. Advance my infantry up. Okay, let's ignore their Swiss pikes. Try tickle the back of these African infantry guards. You can see the Swiss pikes. Okay, keep attacking. Get, get away from those dragoons. Run my light cavalry away. The grenadiers are staying. It's time to engage my light cavalry. Okay, charge my native African infantry into the Swiss pikes. Get my heavy cavalry to smash into the rear. Okay, my cuirassier go after the general's bodyguard. Let's smash this unit of Swiss pikes. These elite Swiss pikes are there. So my heavy cavalry going to take a bit of a beating here, but it's going to be worth it. Ah, the fire enemy firepower has defeated my colonial lights. These guys haven't broken sooner. Okay, retarget my howitzers. Understandably, my infantry is upset here because they are. I really rate Swiss pikes. going through my my other cavalry. Let's bring you guys in. Form new line. Get my cavalry out of there. 
they've both gone. My cavalry's still active. For now. God, I love Swiss Pikes. They are very good. Gunners engage the Swiss Pikes. Come on, you men. If you got loaded muskets. You do. <laughs> They're going to... Dragoons are coming in. Engage. Okay, my line. Advance. Gunners reload. Nice. Send some of my weaker units to go attack some of their routing troops. These Swiss pikes are advancing up into musket range. There they go. They formed up valiantly for a whole few minutes. Let's let my infantry deal with this unit of Amazons. My cavalry can start to try and destroy routing units. Four, three, two, one. Okay, fire will off. Not necessarily worried about knocking out the best units that we can. We're concerned with knocking out any units. So you want to try and deal with these Amazons, then go after those Swiss pikes. Awesome. Go get them. Regimento de Soria. Yeah, they're a decent infantry unit. Okay, I think that's going to be... It's going to be all against those Swiss Pikes, I think. You, you, and you... Smash them. Tear them up. Teach them what it means to wage war against us. It means they will not go home and see their loved ones. Twenty odd men left. An incredibly experienced pikeman, but he's gone. So this force can replenish and maintain their defensive position in Egypt. Yeah, when when Prussia when they declare war on us that's going to be tough we're going to go back to defending austria and hungary i expect i think poland may start to suffer some financial discomfort interesting we're not being given an opportunity to intercept them I think Russia is, because they're losing this territory to Sweden, oh yeah, and Sweden's immediately marching on out.
Yep, I think the next engagement is going to be against Sweden. It's they keep trying to break out and protect and kill the Spanish and British troops that are caught, that are on their um on their land and failing. I mean, I could go do it, but I'm not not that bothered. Dagestan again, Dagestan. Everyone else is going to progress. Works on strike in Poland. That's okay. Um, you're going to go down. You're going to sit in Krakow. If you want to push west, we'll intercept you and drive you back east. Uh, down here in Egypt. I mean, we could just push forward and take you out. Yeah. Very good idea. Let's bring you back for a turn or so and let's recruit a I can't get anything too spicy because everything will run all the way around <laughs> to Egypt okay up. maintain our port upgrading Actually, oh, have got grenadiers over here. Let's bring you over. Let's take some of our smallest colonial line units and use them to top up others. Or well, your actual line infantry units. You can't do that. Let's use a line infantry unit to do that. Expand this unit to create the two slots we need. Two for the Grenadiers, one for the Africa Infantry Guards. Excellent. Astrakhan's got better roads. By the looks of it, they may get to Kazan faster than we can stop them. This is why we want these military buildings here so they can start to build their own um, forces so now you can march out of the city well you can't yet we're going to do it with we're going to start growing our army create a craft workshop here Got a fortification at IAC. It's going to be expensive, but it's going to be worth doing because if Poland tries to break out, that's a natural target. 8,600. Right. Let's start to upgrade some of our industry. A lot of mines will be good upgrades. Vienna. Good. At Crimea, you're not 100% Catholic, but you're on the way there. Cherkask is being converted and everyone is growing it nicely. Although you've got a church school, what we might do is send this agent up to Moscow to try and cause problems for Sweden. Let's try and foster. So they're growing Protestantism. There they are. Uh, so Sweden's bringing in their agents to convert the region. Right. Okay, there's no point trying to fight them there then. Let's try going to Kazan. But yeah, these, are, these territories, these frontier territories, they need to be expanded. Whoop, one second, everyone. Sorry about that. Somebody was at the door. Path blocked. Okay, let's engage. Sebastian Petrochov. Petrochov. 
outside of the gates of Kiev. We want to take this territory because then locally, well, this will be our nearest troop production center to Moscow, and it will be a critical area to build up our strength and advance across central Russia towards Sweden. This could be our next serious engagement, but I think we do we do need to take Tunisia from Spain to try and bring them to the negotiating table. And if that doesn't work, we'll take Algeria. If that doesn't work, we'll take everything. <laughs> no, we'll push on to Morocco. Um, we're going to push our artillery up onto this hill. We are going to stick with a fairly conventional wide front approach. Conscripts hold. Howitzers form up behind the hill to engage whoever we need to. Artillery position here just to trundle up quickly. Position our cavalry on the flanks. General in the centre. Artillery get on the hill. We're just going to angle ourselves this time. These are skirmish cavalry. They are just advancing skirmishers. Except for the regiment of horse. They might actually try. You men jump onto the skirmish cavalry. My howitzers are engaging the enemy. But my main source of firepower is going to be getting our howitzers up on the hill and firing. Yeah, that regiment of horse broke our square. Okay, let's bring our heavy cavalry over on this flank. Conscripts can pop some shots off at the Kamloops. Okay, let's bring these two units back here to backstop that flank. New men are holding the gap between these hills. Our regiment of horse can cover here. Kamloops are being engaged. So there's the enemy garrison force from the city. Marines, infantry. No, stay in square. Okay, actually, if they're just going to butt up against us. You men form square. You men have to fall back. Try to pierce our front line with Don Cossack's cavalry. Commit with our hussars. Throw this infantry into their infantry. Whip around the flanks. My heavy cavalry. Get in here, engage the Narvsky regiment of foot in the rear, engage the conscripts into the unit of marines. Okay, get this howitzer, these howitzers to engage. Get my foot artillery, sorry, to engage the enemy infantry coming in. Same with my howitzers and quicklime. Okay, we've surrounded and crushed the marines.
Okay, enemy cavalry's got snarled up in all our square formations. Quick climb's doing excellent work. Push our cavalry through to try break their lines. Our infantry have done a are doing a sterling job. Bring you around to kill those two marines. Surround and destroy the 18th. Okay, you guys form up. Artillery. Attack ground. Consolidate our position on the hill. Excellent. The last infantry unit there has been killed as well. Well, actually, you guys do something like this so I can manually come through and put you in the most appropriate formations. Tiny unit of marines, but I'll still take you. Okay, someone... Cavalry just to get out of here quick. Okay, the enemy garrison has been obliterated. Chase them down with round shots. Regiment of horse charged the expat infantry. They've not got very much depth to try and withstand our charge. Keep killing them. Get through. Careful of the foot guards. Okay, you men, get in the slots. Let's start to surround and trap these men. Retarget the artillery into the center. Beautiful. Hmm, interesting. You actually charged my infantry unit. Let's throw a couple in there just to make sure we do win that engagement. Push through. Push through. Okay. Precision be damned. Regiment of Dragoons. Yeah, they've gone down as well. Excellent. All my artillery. Switch to round shot. Try and engage those foot guards. The howitzers can't shoot. We're going to hold off pushing them too hard. Well, actually, no, we've got my general. He can get involved in that. Okay, let's start to try and. Kill some of these fellows. Actually, you can try and help kill the guard, the uh, engineers. Oh, actually, they get, they're retreating, strangely. Mm. 
eventually will cause their foot guards to get away from the wall. Okay, there they are. You men run. Keep my general close. You're both going after the Nivsky Novgorod Regiment of Foot. Let's get one of you. Okay, right. The enemy the Simonovsky Foot Guards are broken. Damn right, we're going to continue. Foot Artillery Ceasefire. That unit, the engineer units broke up into a few smaller ones. So instead, let's. May as well focus on the Simonevsky foot guards. No, you're going after them. Yeah, they were too close to the edge of the map. Okay, there we go. Kill the last of that infantry there. Awesome. So that is the. The army before the gates of the Ukrainian capital annihilated. I mean, we're just going to take that. <laughs> We've effectively just fought that action. Awesome. They don't like us very much. Um, this religious agent is actually going to try and convert this territory. Okay, if they take... Kazan, we may try and go for peace with Russia to prepare for the war with Moscow. But for now, I think we have to hit enter. We're about to get carronades. Four turns away from steam engine there, and that will really kickstart our economy. I mean, our economy is pretty good as it is, but that's the extra... The bacon bits. Okay, here comes the Royal Navy fleet with an army on board. They are visible. I think, they, yes, we are going to ambush them, I suspect. There's another Spanish army. Lots of Prussian troops. They demand that. Yeah, so see, they've already started demanding things. If I say counter offer, if I just swap that tech for those techs. I mean, granted, I know that some of those have already been researching anyway. Yeah, Russia, you've got bigger problems than me right now, okay? How about you go get your damn capital back? They already, oh, they're already raiding. They can raid the territories in Poland. That's okay. Yeah, Sweden's going to get Kazan. We're going to be in a war with Sweden. That's just going to happen. It's not going to be a bad, too bad for us because we'll have plenty of. We'll have three armies actually in that general area. Plus, as we build up our back line that's going to become even more secure let's see if we can actually get a peace deal with spain another catholic minister catholic minister that's okay get into kiev town in croatia is getting a craft workshop Some good traits. Carronades, they've gone straight on to copper bottoms, that's fine. Okay, the capture of Kazan is going to be what kicks us into proper war territory, I think. One more turn till we get the 
military governor's barracks in Cherkask. You're going to move, be pushed back to Cherkask anyway, soon. Okay, let's get repairing. Get replenishing. This army sends dragoons. Maybe if we leave the militia behind. Advance up to here. Okay, maintain our port building. Latakia. Ooh, a cheap one this time. Okay. Okay, Luca, you can finally replenish your cavalry. Orlando Sabatini. Excellent. When, when you're replenished, you can go after Tunisia. Which <laughs> miss raw suffering. And a fifth rate eagle. So we have a royal, f we have a beefy flagship. I don't want to use it. I don't want to commit it into that sort of action. Let's build a couple of first rates. Ultimately, they may not go for us. Their course suggests they're going somewhere else. At war with Venice as well. So they might be landing another army off of Rome. In which case... Yeah, Ven okay, we might need to stand up another another um, force here to start fighting in Italy. They might land on Naples. I mean, ultimately, if they do... If, mm, mm, start to spam recruitment in Naples. We can't really... don't want to focus on that that much. Especially when we've got now some slightly more secure areas to upgrade the economy in a couple of these territories. Forty-one thousand is that's very nice for our economy. Okay, you guys get over here and start converting. Get rid of the college. Don't worry about the iron workshops yet. Let's upgrade the roads. Okay, let's start to recruit some elite infantry in Venice to get ready. Because if we if they lose Rome we will want to invade and take it. I mean, ultimately, we should really have cleared this out because it's good probably... Well, no, it's not impacting our trade. I don't know. We'll wait and see. It's not an urgently pressing matter. Don't like you guys being out here. Just kill them. Yeah, what the hell, let's get some farm upgrades. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you replenish. Well, actually, too much. I might try and see if I can get a peace deal with Spain as it is. Nope. Let's see if we can start trading with Sweden. Nope. Okay, they're probably going to hit us. Okay. 
very well. Bring up some artillery. Because we're gonna end up we're gonna end up in another fight. Ideally I'll take Ufa, then get peace with Russia. I mean, they're depleted. That wouldn't be too terrible. Because I have been looking for an excuse to get after Italy. Oh no. Come help us, everyone. Yep, yeah, I need peace with... Everybody. <laughs> Ooh. Um, that's pretty good, because your both your armies are pretty knackered. Um I'm not sure what how long the episode is, because I had to hop out to to answer the door, so I'm gonna kinda guess this is the end of it. Um <laughs> hopefully I'm not too far off. So thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the distraction of two full Prussian armies. Well, not that's completely wrong. One, effectively one Prussian army, because they, yeah, they're incredibly, incredibly um, depleted. See you later, everyone.